So now that we know the basics of a translational mechanical control system, let's now see how we can use these to now create a mathematical model of a translational mechanical control system. If you haven't watched those videos yet, please do watch it before watching this video. I'll leave the link to those videos in the description below. My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So in this video, I'll be discussing some typical problems which will give you a clear idea as in how to create a mathematical model of a control system. So first, let us see this particular question. Find the transfer function of the following control system. So here we are given a particular system. So here what we observe is that it has got three components, a particular mass M, a particular dash pot or a damper of damping constant B and a particular spring of spring constant K. So here in this particular control system what we observe is that a particular force is applied here on the downward direction. So therefore when we apply a particular force in the downward direction it undergoes a particular displacement x of t. So here the main concept that has to be used is the fact that this particular external force that we apply is equal to the sum of the restoring forces that are developed in this particular mass and this particular dash part and this particular spring. In the previous videos, we saw how we can calculate the restoring forces that develop in a particular mass, a particular damper and a particular spring. If you haven't watched those videos, please do watch it. I leave the link in the description below. So here, what we observe is that the force F of T is equal to the sum of the restoring forces developed in this particular mass M, this particular dash pot and this particular spring. That is F of T is equal to FB of T plus FK of T plus FM of T. So here, what we observe is that first let us take FM of T. That is the restoring force developed in this particular mass M. So FM of T is given as here the restoring force developed in a particular mass m is equal to the particular mass into the acceleration a. So the acceleration is given as the second order derivative of this particular displacement. So therefore fm of t is given as m into d squared x of t by dt squared. So that is Fm of t. Next let us take this particular force that is Fb of t. That is the force developed in this particular damper Fb of t. So Fb of t is given as Fb of t is equal to the damping constant B in multiplied by the velocity V. But the velocity V is the first order derivative of this particular displacement x of t. So therefore Fb of t is equal to B into dx by dt. And finally the force that is developed in the spring k is given as Fk of t is equal to the spring constant k into the displacement x of t. So now we have found out the three kinds of forces that are acting here. First one is Fm of t, the second one is Fb of t and the last one is Fk of t. That is the forces acting on the mass, the forces acting on this particular damper and the force acting on this particular spring. So now applying these three onto this particular equation we would get F of t is equal to First, let us take Fm of t, that is m into d squared x of t by dt squared. Plus, here Fb of t is given as b into d by dt of x of t. Plus, finally, we have k into x of t. So now, with this, we have obtained the force equation. So now here, we are supposed to find the transfer function. So the transfer function of any given control system is given as the ratio of the output by a particular input. So here, the output obtained is this particular displacement x of t and the input that we're giving to this particular system is this particular force f of t. So therefore, here, what we have to find is x of t divided by f of t or we can even find it in the frequency domain. So now what we do is that we now convert this into the frequency domain. So therefore in order to convert this into the frequency domain we use the Laplace transform. So taking the Laplace transform we would get this would now become f of s is equal to 
m into so here because this is a second order derivative we would write s squared into x of s plus here it is b into since it is a first order derivative we would just write s into x of s plus finally we have k into x of s so here x of s term is common over here so therefore f of s is equal to x of s into what we get is that m s square plus b s plus k so now here taking x of s by f of s we would get x of s divided by f of s is equal to 1 divided by m s square plus b s plus k this is the required transfer function of this particular control system as simple as that guys as simple as that so this thus is a basic example of how you would find the transfer function of a particular control system a mechanical control system undergoing a translational motion as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of how you can find the mathematical mod of a translational mechanical control system and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you